สวัสดีค่ะ and welcome back to at bright insight with me กวนกนูชิตพันธ์ reporting to you all the latest news on Buddhism from around the world let us start with one of the most important events in our Buddhist calendar the m a k a b u s h a Day More than 10 international media, such as Reuters, VOA News, Rupli, and NBC News, just updated the world with this event, the m a k a b u s h a Light of Peace Ceremony at Wat Pathamagaya Temple in Thailand. On that day, thousands of Buddhists from around the world joined the m a k a b u s h a Light of Peace Ceremony in homage to the Lord Buddha and his teachings. m a k a b u s h a is an important religious festival celebrated by Buddhists on the full moon day of the third lunar month for more than 2,500 years. This year, the auspicious day falls on Tuesday, 19th February. And we hope to welcome you all at Wapatamagaya again next year. Let us move on to another update on m a k a b u s h a day in another temple in Thailand. Buddhist days make up a number of the public holidays on the Thai calendar, and among them is m a k a b u s h a Day. In 2019, m a k a b u s h a Day falls on Tuesday, 19th February. Every temple across Thailand holds its own ceremony to mark the occasion. Twenty elephants took part in a candlelit procession marking m a k a b u s h a Day at the Pa A j i a n g Monastery in Thailand's northeastern s u r i n Province. The procession called w i e n t i a n Ceremony is an important and picturesque ritual in which people carrying candles and circumambulating in clockwise direction three times around the ordination hall or chapel. Ethnic k u i people in s u r i n which is known as Thai Elephant Town, brought the jumbos, including a pair of twins, to join the procession at the monastery. Alongside humans and mahals, the elephants walk it around e r a w a n Pavilion. In addition to candles, Buddhists also carry lotus flowers and incense sticks, symbolizing their faith in Buddhism. Rejoice in your merit, and thank you, j n a News, for the update. And Bright Insight would like to introduce you one of the best meditation teacher in America. Venerable Dr. Nicholas Tanisero. It is interesting that a British man has become a Buddhist monk for more than 20 years. Venerable Dr. Nicholas Tanisero, a Buddhist monk from United Kingdom, has been a monk for 20 years and has over 30 years of meditation experience. He pioneered popular meditation courses in Europe since 1997. And has several TV guide spots, audio CDs, books, book translations, and academic articles to his name. He is the UK Complementary Medical Association qualified teacher of meditation. Lately, he was invited by the Romania Convent Secondary School in a l h a m a California, to teach the world religion and answer several questions to the students. The students ask why he had decided to ordain, and what is the monk routine in a temple. At the end of the lesson, the students practice meditation to calm their mind and achieve inner peace. And rejoice in your merit. Let us discover what happens inside our brain when we sit down and meditate. Evolutionary physiologists. And the author of Why Buddhism Is True, Robert Wright, explains what happens inside your brain when you sit to meditate. He believed that in a mindfulness meditation, calm isn't the only object of the game. Calm can make us start to examining other things that are going on. He said, "When you turn your attention to what's inside your mind, that's when things can get more therapeutic in a way." Because one thing you can look as problematic feelings, you will feel a feeling surface, and the fact that your mind is calm will let you examine the feeling rather than get carried away by it. Like a feeling of anxiety that might have triggered just a train of unpleasant thoughts, and like disaster scenarios won't do that, because you are not blindly following it. Instead, you are observing it, and that is the way you handle things inside your head. 
doesn't mean your feelings go away necessarily, but it does give you the option of changing your relationship to the unpleasant feelings. It gives you an actual clearer view of the world. And thank you, Business Insider, for the information. It seems like the American lawyers know how to deal with their stress. They invited the teaching monks for the inner peace meditation. Stress is by far one of the most common reasons for lawyers. Many working or studying in legal sector have a driven, perfectionist personality that makes them prone to stress. They often work long hours in pressurized situations and believe they should always be in control. Feeling unable to cope with work can be particularly difficult. It is important to take steps to control stress before it overwhelms you. Meditation is the key to manage the stress. Last week, the American immigration lawyers and his friends, who provide legal guidance in Georgia, invited the teaching monks from Dhammakaya, Georgia, to teach meditation. They believe that meditation session will calm their minds, and the inner peace is necessary for them to do their jobs well. And thank you, the Facebook page Kuai Le Tian Tang, for the news. Let us now review the worldwide Buddhist event, the Makabusha Light of Peace Ceremony at Wapatamagaya Temple in Thailand.
As always, let us now and at right insight with the Lord with us, quote, Not to do any evil, to cultivate good, to purify one's mind. This is the advice of the Buddha. And we hope you all enjoy our news today. At Bright Insight, we'll be rerun every Sunday and Tuesday so that our viewers around the world won't miss your chance to catch up with us. You can also watch all episodes of our news program by visiting our GBN Global Buddhist Network official website, gbnus.com, or from the Facebook page, GBNUS. Thank you for joining us and see you again next week. Sadiqah! So